This the year, this the year I make my ways. This the year, this the year, this the year of ventilate. Lately, my smoke cycle chains burn the grass to many snakes. Now it's shallow, west of page. Fuck your lemons, I want lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> Where the fuck are your titties at? <laughs> are we going to church? That's yes. a bar, dude. Yes, we are going to church. The church of the fucking banter heads. <laughs> That's where we going, baby. <sighs> All right. Uh, so what? You just plug it into the wall? Yeah. We gotta. We'll figure this other shit out later. Uh, it is time. Uh. It's the time of the season, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God, Dillis, you want to try this? Nah, I've had the I've had the Black Mamba uh, body armor edition. Thank you very much. You've had the Black Mamba juice? Yeah, it's fire. I had to. Every sip was for Kobe. It was amazing. Mamba forever. Um, <sighs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, wow. Um, <laughs> episode one twenty two. What is up, y'all? It's Nick. Welcome back. You you might not recognize us because we've literally been through hell and back. I feel like I've lived <laughs> ten fucking lives since last pod. And did we record Saturday? No, Friday. Friday. And it's only Saturday. Friday. Like, it's evening. a. W- it's eight days later, and it feels. I don't understand it. Oh my god. Um, I truly don't get it. Um, tons of updates to give you guys. <laughs> tons of uh, updates. I think we should just start with. You know, the goat. It's it's undisputed at this point. It's <laughs> you want to start with John Summit? <laughs> Why would we do that? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Recency Bias, and I. <laughs> yo, yo, let me know when you want to start potty. Oh, <laughs> Throw it out. I don't like this. I don't I like this. I become start. Joe Budden. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Are we here to work? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want? Don't make me roar your ass. No, no. We'll we'll get to the some no, world. No, trust me. Soon. I know. No, I was, I was clearly just making a joke. I we got to start with the weekend. No, some world it's, is. Look, just like yeah, no. <laughs> so, some dog millionaire row, trust, but <laughs> every story has a beginning and an end. Just like the Rolling Loud Pod, you know. We couldn't rush the shit. You know, we had to wait for the shit. To come out um so we'll start where it all began i'm just gonna quickly say that friday after the podcast your boy went and saw chris lake that shit was fire met some cool people had a great time not much to say from that except for the fact that i experienced all of it and then woke up and then went straight to the weekend so that that that's just a little bit of the context Did you that's wet? why it's like all stories Did you uh, get wet at the lake the lake you know it was a, it was a wet weekend. The weekend in general was very like moist. I mean, I was you know? wet the weekend. And <laughs> yeah, trust me, me too. Like you weren't the only one. I think everyone around me was actually, even the fifty eight year olds. Um, yeah, they could still get wet. I know, dude. Trust me, I saw it. It was kind of hot. <laughs> it was interesting. <laughs> yeah, they're going through menopause, but for Abel, they that shit wakes up. You know, bro. I think Abel could be a lot of different peoples with a lot of different sexualities. Fucking aphrodisiac at this point, <laughs> yeah, bro. I thought you were gonna say like father. <laughs> well, yeah. He, I mean, clearly, I have a new stepdad, but you know, Damn. that's wow. chilling. Um. He's a rhino pill, right? He's a gas station and rhino pill for everyone. He's insane, bro. Gay, like, straight, lesbian. It don't matter what you non-binary, are. the Flash, like literally any single variant. Elliot, you know, it don't matter. Elliot. <laughs> Elliot. Lozy. You've never Lo-Z. heard the song Unfazed? Come on. This is Abel we're talking about. Demi Lovato a year ago. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's back to she. She's yeah, very yeah. fluid. Yeah, so now I'm down to pipe um, again. <laughs> a couple a couple months ago, I wasn't. I, but I wasn't now, sure about how I'd feel in a queer relationship, but now that it wouldn't be, you know. I'm, is, is there anything that, like, lets people know that, like, you can fuck dems and days? <laughs> what do you mean? You know how, like, it's, like, bisexuality and then heterosexuality? What's, like, the day sexuality of shit? Is it, it's, like... Is it pan? I think so. I don't even know. Cause Honestly, it's, but Pan's like so open. It's like I'll fucking. I animal, think it's more like know? like hetero flexible. Whoa, hetero flexible. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo. <laughs> 
to you. We're fucking woke here, motherfucker. Added to the fucking diction. You haven't read the books, bitch? Wow. The fucking the June books? Yeah, I'm hetero flexi. You, you know, think we were good. joking in June? No, we were really living this shit. Yeah. No, uh, the weekend, bro, like, he only had three breaks, and then it would go from song to song. Transition was crazy. Yeah, like, but- but, you know, as far as breaks, I've, I don't think I've ever seen someone, you know, use the break time so wisely. That was pretty interesting, right? <laughs> I know what you're trying to Seems say. like he came back so refreshed from every 15-second break. I, I mean, mean you it know, was almost magical. His eyes were uh, very wide <laughs> and open. They started to widen as the show went on. I've really never seen anything like it. It was, yeah, like, yeah. Um, <laughs> it was he, like an extended release Addy or some shit. <laughs> The Weeknd snorts Adderall for his concerts, and that's the only way he could be that fucking good. And if that's the sacrifice he needs to take to put on the best show I've ever fucking seen in my life, I would take it. You ever seen Moneyball, bro? Everyone has defects. If that's going to be his defect, we'll take it, brother. Yeah, no. Like, bro. It's... it's... We ready to talk about it? (laughs) I feel like we've been just sitting in the stew for a second. (laughs) Because I, I, I was about to say it, and then I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. What about those past couple of hours you just had? <laughs> oh, what do you mean? Like, <laughs> like you mean your shit today? Yes. Uh, we'll get to that. <laughs> but like, Why are you giving spoilers? No, it's not spoilers, bro. <laughs> I mean, all right, before... Where are you trying to go? I think I think we start where all things start. Kitchenada, you know? I mean, it was clearly... <laughs> Dude, come on, man. What's your deal today, yo? What do you mean? Dude, like, Do you not want to do this? Dude, you're shredding. Like, what do you want me to do? I'm about to shred these fucking cables. He sure was shredding, man. He set the mood. <laughs> he was the aphrodisiac. Oh, did he read my article? The aphrodisiac. <laughs> Yo, plug uh, rival Dude, LA. Lance was a lot nicer um, to Katra in the in the article than he was on the phone after the concert. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Nah, but I just want to say right before because this is also part of the story. It was right before Abel started. Like the people around me were, which this lady who we met was like super nice. This uh, like fifty eight year old uh, lady, actually a widow, but we'll get to that. Um, dude. Nicest woman I've ever met. She was hilarious. Um, but, like, she was like, yeah, you know, I wasn't crazy about Kate Trinata, you know? I was oh, like, no. why is she saying And that? I literally turned around. I was like, you're asleep. I was like, chill. And people kept, like, hating on him, and I would always be defensive. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa hold on. But Kate Trinata's staying over here. <laughs> no, no, real talk. Uh, we, I, I joke because I, no, I would have no, preferred I, to see Snow Allegro. Of course, no, I feel For you. some I reason. Mean, it was just because it, it was hyped up of Doja. And whether well, you I love Kate Trinata yeah. or not, it's not going to hype up to Doja. Like, uh, that for level sure. of a performer, And for you some know? reason, that angel of a woman, Snow, just does not want to perform in Miami. Uh, it's a reverse Drake and Houston situation, for sure. She must have a menace here or something. What do you mean? You don't remember Astro World? <laughs> he was there. No, that's what I'm saying. It's a reverse Drake oh, in Houston. Oh. Drake is always time to go to TCU, TSU, you know? But, like, <laughs> TSU I ladies. think uh, Snow might have fucked one too many UM dudes or something. <laughs> it's weird, man. Snow on the bluff ass shit. Nah, uh, hopefully she comes. Uh, no, but k was dope. Uh, Whatever, yeah. I mean, he didn't... I, I was still... Dude, like, I'm in awe that every time I go to a concert, they don't play my favorite song by them. I know it just dropped, but Twin Flames with Anderson Park, Come on, man. Yeah. How do you not shred that? It just dropped. Yeah, k is fire. I gotta edit those pictures. I haven't even mm. touched them. I'm excited to see those. Um, That'll be cool. But yeah, so, so we're waiting for the weekend, and oh, you know, everyone, dude, every fucking 10 minutes... Before everyone just starts cheering for no reason, like oh yeah, what, what is that? Good. What is that? Dude, like, that shit bothers me so fucking. Much, that happened man. like three times tonight before Bad Bunny. Oh, of course. They're like, uh, Bad Bunny, <laughs> Bad Bunny, <laughs> and then all like everybody, like the auto photographers are like, yo, we got another like half hour. I don't know what the fuck you guys are doing. Like, yeah, because everyone who's in the know is always like, <laughs> yeah, like dude, he's not even in the building right now. <laughs> <laughs> This is Benito we're talking uh, about. He's not lucky even, Diplo started when he did. He's not even fucking. Um, 
Yeah, I I don't even know what to say about Abel. Like, it's, it's, <laughs> so it was the best on, concert so. I have ever <laughs> been to in Bye. my entire life. <laughs> and it's not even particularly close. Like, do you hear me? Dude, Amazing. That was, uh, it was like, honestly unlike anything I've ever seen, man. I wanted to cry a couple times. It was, like, even, dude, that wasn't kidding when I said that I was on the verge of tears a couple times. I, dude, I was like, I was Bro, ready. Dude, when I first, because I, I had it, I didn't look at the, I saw the, the, the Atlanta, um, fucking lineup or whatever, or like the song list. Set list yeah. And I, and I literally just glanced at it and saw how many it was and just looked away. I didn't actually like study it oh, at all. Okay, yeah, so, yeah, dude, nice. the first time I heard, <laughs> I hope I did it justice, but when I first heard the drop for Crew Love, dude, yeah. I was like, ah! <laughs> Dude, I was talking to a friend of mine, and uh, she was like, "Oh, I thought he was gonna bring out the weekend at that point." Oh, oh, Drake! Drake. Oh, dude, I, I no, no, the bro. thought crossed my head, and I was like, "Dude, if he pulled that off, Jock." <laughs> nah, but the, the the reality is, weekend not bringing on anyone is a bigger flex because that motherfucker yeah. literally did thirty fucking songs, and All every him. single one was amazing. All like, him. oh, and another and it sounded huge, incredible. Oh, angelic, bro. Jesus. Uh, so when he had just finished that beginning of the of Alone Again, which is the first song he played. Um, dude, I look over to Freiburg and I'm like, bro, you ready for this? It's about to be the fucking da -da 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 -da, the fucking gasoline drop. And bro, when he dropped it, I was just like, cause you know that's one of my favorite songs yeah, by him. Fire. No, um It's five AM my time again. He I he I feel like he played all the songs you could have wanted the weekend to play, you know? There was a few There's some selfish ones there that was a I few. would never see. Like, first of all, the fact that we'd never see like initiation, which that's just I love that song. That would have been uh, nice. a couple of those from fucking uh, trilogy that are just like yeah, yeah, yeah. obviously fucking mixtape cuts. Or he didn't do true colors, them. right? No, I don't think he did oh. true colors. Die for uh, you? So that could have been he did do die for yeah, you. Yeah, he did. That he was did. Fire. Yeah, that was amazing. But yeah, the I think my biggest sad one was um, fuck. Uh, real quick, real quick. Alone. Uh, what's the what's the after hours? After Hours, Donna Fam. Um, before no, that, no, no, no. My in After dog. Hours. No, it's in After Hours. Um, it's in oh, After dude. Hours. Oh, dude. Hardest to love. Bro. Oh, sheesh. That one also, Snow been... Child. Well, dude, but, like, we I know would that's kill not... to have heard fucking yeah, You we, Couldn't Find Me Like I'm We know that's not though. a set list song that for a fucking stadium. That or Escape from LA. Like, that would have been fucking insane. Yeah. Uh, but nah, for, yeah, like, because, dude, I don't know about you, but Hardest to Love. And I did even yeah, do Scared to Live. I don't remember. Bro, those are two. I think he might have done but that. But the, the, I feel like the problem is if you do Hardest Love, you got to do the next one. Yeah, you, you have can't to, not you have like to. give one. Like, it's that. That's the only thing that would have been great about if he had done the After Hours tour originally, you know, was just yeah. getting more of those songs. Like, he probably would have done Snow Child at that point. Yeah, yeah, because then, like, <coughs> it was kind of like the selects from both albums yeah. along with, like, his fucking entire career. Although he did play a lot of the chunk from fucking Don FM. He did, and I was happy about that. <laughs> I was so happy about that. That was sweet. If you still think Don FM is not good, you suck. Okay? Yeah, dead ass. Like, I would literally cry if you don't like Don FM. You fucking suck. If you don't like fucking It's 5 a.m. my time, time again. again. <laughs> like, are you serious? Come if you on. don't like Out of Time, <laughs> <I'm> go <going> don't <laughs> fucking hit my line. Okay? Nah, I don't want to talk to you. I only have one issue with Out of Time is that... Is that <laughs> <laughs> My one issue with Out of Time is, is that the K Trinata remix is just so much better. <laughs> I couldn't even hold it. Bro, I tried with everything in me. I'm gonna just leave. I'm gonna just leave. I tried so hard. <laughs> Dude, I had that plan for a week, dude. For a week, I've had that plan. And I still fizzled under pressure. <laughs> no, the no, delivery dude. was great. The delivery like, was I great. I you held it, you held it well. Yeah, like, like the Kei a <laughs> remix was a nice refresher for the song for me. That's all that was, you know? Because the original is just, like, obviously the best. Bro, yeah, that fucking funny. beat drop. That's fucking hilarious, dude. Dude, I was <laughs> waiting. And now that I know, now that I know, after like going back and listening to the album, bro, the whole fucking Quincy's uh, tale? tale is like a fucking like 
That's crazy, right? It's like a finger tease of out of time, and then yeah, the yeah. second it goes to, yes, bro. <laughs> yeah, 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 that shit is fucking ridiculous, yeah. brother. No, that's um, out of time is my favorite song this year. That is less than zero. I mean, less. And I've than never zero been able to say that like any other year. Yeah, never like, been like this is this is the I mean, song for me. Yeah, like I wouldn't. Yeah, for me it wouldn't be that like that that much. But I do really like the song. Um, and then uh, no, less than zero, bro. Like yes, what the thank fuck, you. bro? Dude, the fact Dude. that he like, we talked about bro. this after the show, but the fact that he literally played that as his second to last song, like. The nuts on the guy, bro. Yeah, like, yeah no, but it, it plays so well in a stadium. Yeah, like it sounded those, amazing. If you heard the album, you know the, you know the song. You just don't really know the name, you know, because less than zero doesn't stick with you. What sticks with you is can't get you out of my head. Yeah, no, whatever. what a dude, dude, amazing uh, playing uh, hurricane too. Hurricane. Yeah, he did like some of the features and shit, like um. Or not, oh, uh, or, or, or well, not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he did that, and then and another low picture. Life. Oh, low life. That was sick. Repping for the low life, dude. Honestly, like at this point, if you guys can't tell, we're both like literal able stands at this point. We've always loved him, independently and together. But brother, yeah. I mean, that, dude, and like, you shooting it, and like, bro, just seeing the fucking shots you got, like, yeah, holy I was fuck, super bro. happy. He I mean, dude, he fucking them, like, he rep- like he reposted the shot I took through a fan page. Uh, <laughs> Come on! I, I might have to edit that one. <laughs> For real? I thought yeah, that's yeah. more impressive. No, because I gotta. Oh, oh I, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm working on something, I so I gotta. Actually. Yeah, gotta. Um, and the other one. Uh, yeah, the, the one of him like taking off. Yeah, the the first one that I got like retweeted with a bunch of others. Um, Ryan and uh, Zeno, they they also had uh, shots. And yeah, it's like ones from different. Um, like shows but also yeah a from yeah Miami i don't too. know it was like it was a bunch of different shots lined up <laughs> that, that like awesome, some fan bro. page put together uh super crazy dude and like bro all the shots I, you got were incredible the fact that that you didn't even lead with the one with the one that i call calling my name like if it's an artwork it's called calling my name i know he wasn't singing that but which one is that one will, the one where just <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wait 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 that's Actually, funny I need to give it a sec. It, like, dude, call out my name live was just the yeah, most incredible thing I've ever experienced. No, I'm, I'm blinding uh, lights. Oh, yeah, dude. With the, uh, like, first of all, the fact you have the band with the lights that light up. Like, yeah. and you first did it during um, I Feel It Coming, which, oh, what the fuck, bro. bro. I, I feel, feel it coming. coming. And you just see the lights starting to go. Everyone's like, whoa, whoa, oh, whoa. Yeah. I do feel it coming. Uh, and I think I feel it coming down there, too, brother. Yeah, we're all coming, Abel. <laughs> Thank you. But... Uh, yeah, no, blinding lights. No, but call out my name, bro. Like, when he drops it and all the lights just go crazy, it, like, yeah. dude, his, just, the the choreography, I mean, it's not, like, the most dance-heavy, but, like, just the choreography, the staging, yeah, the lights. Yeah, because he had the dancers. Like, I mean, dude, no, built-out like, stage, a uh, big-ass LED screen behind, like, that yeah, would just dude, go. Yeah, dude, like, the quick draw, the, pyro. the quick draw key bumps. Dude, like, dude, it's fuck. just, it's just so impressive. I mean, <laughs> wait, because I, I had to get the story out. So, the lady behind us. Uh, that's the 57 year old. At one point, she like she sees his eyes on the screen and goes, mm-hmm. <laughs> I swear to God. And she looks at me and goes, Yeah, yeah. I- <laughs> and I just start cracking up. Uh, I, I, at I, first, I was like, What's she talking about? And I look at the screen and see it. And I was like, Holy fuck, what's that demon doing looking at? Me? Yeah, I, I I got a photo that's pretty fucking. Pretty, and meanwhile, it's zoinked out. And meanwhile, out of time, like he's still slaying know, it, like man. not a single note missed. No, I know. the guy, man, dude. Like I went back and I was able to see photos from that Delano like show I went to for New Year's oh Eve in like uh, 2013. I couldn't find me and my pops so like in the photo, but like I saw him. January twenty, like January 2013 or like December 2013. No, it was December 31st. Oh my God. So it was. 2013 so it was going post into Yes. Wow, I know a you low, love a low Kiss post, Land, Yeah. So that's fine. And uh I didn't even know who was performing. My my dad surprised me with it. And then I saw a motherfucker wearing like a Kiss Land hat. I was like, wait, 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 what's going on here? And then he pops out like a couple minutes later and he goes start singing. I was like, Holy fuck, what? And dude, there was bro, like 
It was so like small and intimate. Raw, and, like everything yeah, about raw it. Yeah, raw as like, fuck. Like, like it was ba- basically just him and like a small ass band, but nothing. Dude. Like it's in the, like a hotel like pool area, so it's not like there's not. Too no, much once you can we do. knew, like once we knew you know? with the Super Bowl, I mean, it was just like this dude's just on a different level. Yeah, no, it was a wrap. The it's, hits. No, the amount, the catalog is nuts. Catalog is looking <laughs> legendary. Okay, like that. no, God bless. I'm so happy for him because. Dude, we we used to talk about that dude Bruh. like before we saw before we knew his face. Bro. Yeah, man. And before he even dropped fucking Kiss Land, we were like, "Yo, this guy could be like massive." Some. And then it would. Please try again. Whoa, whoa, Siri, Siri, nothing's going wrong. I'm not trying to listen to John Summit now, and Siri. We, and we would be like, "Shut up." We would be like, "Oh, do you think he could be as big as Drake?" You know. <laughs> and, like, and low key, ugh. he's like bigger now. And they're both like <laughs> no, they're like as far as streaming. Titans, but like yeah, yeah. the whole like just the level of a performer. Like I'm sure Drake could do a stadium tour, but it, just the level of performance is just not even close. I think doing um, I think it depend on the co-headliner, you know. Yeah, like for Drake. Sure. Drake, if he drew for Kendrick and Rocky again, <laughs> fuck that. No, he'd no, have to do. No, no, it'd have to be like him with like. I think him and Nicki could do it. Well, yeah, Nikki, no, Nikki's crazy. Sure, but and then if they add in Wayne, it's over. No, nah, yeah, but if he you just know? wants to do a layup, he could just slap Kate not on there, just call it a day, and you know, do it for Candace. <laughs> Dude, we need a Kate Joe remix of a Drake song. Get the fuck out of here! Come on. <laughs> we listen now officially. He's like, all right, man. That's one too many. Enough. Men. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> Yeah, no. Um, Crazy. Okay, I think we recap the weekend pretty well, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, for Did sure. Did we get out sure. everything we want to talk about? I about think him? so, you know. Yeah. Oh, and the moon. Oh, yeah, the moon was the crazy. Moon like, the was, fucking he moon. He had, like, this inflatable thing, and it was fucking massive. That's why it's, like, just, like, the, the, the setting was just incredible. The set you know? was insane. Uh, shout out Lamar Taylor, like, the creative crazy, director. Crazy, yeah, crazy. Uh, and and, like, and uh, Mike Dean, like, Playing, Mike Dean was cool. It was super like playing, weird and different. like. Well, I didn't see his set, but or, like we walked in as he was playing his set, but like you could just feel him like during yeah, the weekend, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. That's why right when Hurricane was about to start, and like that was just crazy, bro. Yeah. No, and dude, uh, I had floor uh, tickets. Uh, shout out the publicist, uh, dude. Everybody on the floor was standing on top of their fucking chairs, watching. Nobody was sitting. Not a single fucking person. And these are all, these are like rinky dinky, like plastic ones. They're all tied together. So like if one goes down, the bro, whole fucking row is going bro, down. Bro, that's actually know? crazy to me, bro. That sounds yeah. so uncomfortable, but at the same time, it's like you gotta get as close to Abel as a human yeah, as possible. No, it, it was right? cool. Yeah. I, I was standing on like two chairs. I had like one foot in each because cause <laughs> I didn't feel like comfortable. Yeah, uh, nah, I don't know I how you would have been doing the, the single chair. I was literally yeah. thinking about that. I was like, that sounds super uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what a great time. No, and fucking insane, man. Oh, and uh, my friend who I actually met at Chris Lake that went to the weekend the next day, like she said that after every song, instead of like clapping, her and her friends were barking. <laughs> no way, <laughs> bro. The reaction that just like the That's effect funny. he had on everyone around us was crazy, bro. It's like yeah, uh, people in high school, fucking their parents, yeah, a lot older of other people, people our age, like it was just like this fucking melting pot of people yeah the and ages, everyone the is just like singing almost every fucking word like that lady like yeah bro and she was like oh like you know my husband like he passed away like a couple years ago and this is my first concert since and and her son yeah. was there and it was his first concert ever like it wow, was just like what? it was just like i don't know the, the vibes were just immaculate that's dude, tough so. i mean dude the weekend being your first concert is crazy you know who was my first <laughs> fucking concert um John, uh, like, Sakata or some shit. Like, he was a Spanish singer. <laughs> oh, shit, And I was, like, yeah, even course. before, like, I even, like, really fucked with Spanish music. Yeah, Mine was actually fucking most deaf. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I, was I think, super gas. Yeah, I've definitely mentioned Yeah, it. John Sakata, Cuban-American singer. Sheesh. Yeah, That's super lit. throwback. That's shit. Yeah, I did, like, a whole son. report on it and shit. That's your um, English, son. But, so, anyway, life, <sighs> life continued, and uh, a few days passed, and... Um, Blink, blink of an eye, Lance is shooting Chris Brown. Yeah. Uh, what's the... <coughs> that so was we are in, going in, in chronological okay, order Okay, okay, anyway, cool. Yeah, know? yeah, yeah, that works. Um, <laughs> it was in West Palm. I, I wish I could could have stayed for the whole show. I didn't, uh, but it's fine. Um, Lil Baby, 
Kills it as he always fucking does. Of course, bro. That motherfucker is just a, a born spitter. He's a go, but he doesn't fit the description. You know, I'm not a go, but I don't. Whatever the fuck. Um, he was dope. I I didn't really care for the photos I took of him just because he, he dude. He was like the mic was like this. He was holding it. Yeah, so sometimes it, like, it's just like not the vibes just aren't there. You know. Yeah. Whatever. Chris Brown though. Oh, and then you know who opened for Lil Baby that I found out day of? Young Blue. Oh shit! Yeah, it was super random. I didn't Damn. even know. That's Blue. pretty chunky to be the, the like the, the yeah, bomb yeah, guy like yeah. Because you can't just open with Chris, with little baby. Like, what is this? Yeah, it's a little like yo, yeah. Yo. What is this? Austin McBroom's? Yeah, I mean, fucking, like, uh, give me some foreplay. <laughs> you know, you know? Like, yeah. This is Austin McBroom's entrance <laughs> in the in the boxing TikTok versus YouTube Austin is boxing. Austin McBroom. <laughs> Did I remember being what like, what a piece I, of I remember shit? Being like, damn, that little baby entrance is cold though. It was. It was hard. It was hard. But fuck I that love guy. That. Fuck yeah. that scammer. Nah, uh, yeah, that shout out um, his wife though. <laughs> uh, but like yeah, dude. Brown. But first of all, you didn't get a VIP photo with him, did you? I wish. <laughs> that would be Chris, so let me hold your cock. <laughs> dude, the, the the fucking VIP meet and greet photos have been insane. Dude, you know? right? And um, a lot of a lot of the women are pretty fucking crazy. I'll be honest, because <laughs> dude, you know he's not like let's pose like this. No, no. They're no, like, no, yo, no. I want this, and he's like, all right, whatever. Breezy. Yeah. God damn, bro. Did he did he play Kiss Kiss? <laughs> what, what was the first couple songs he played? I, I only I was only there for the first three. Um, oh, he played Slide okay, from the okay. latest album, I think. And Slide's dope, and I can't remember the other ones. I, I, I have them on video, but no. The, honestly, the thing about Chris is that his entrance was fucking crazy. Oh, I'm sure. And was he dancing and shit? Was he dancing? <laughs> Does fucking Michael Jackson dance? <laughs> what? <laughs> Does the weekend use uppers? <laughs> Does the weekend do blow before every show? <laughs> uh, no, but Chris Brown's entrance, he had like these two ropes that were like holding him. Oh my and God. it took him like in like the fucking, fucking air. Pinocchio shit or something. Dude, no, the motherfucker was like an angel. And you could see like Chris Brown like. Holy shit. He's like the final boss of a Troy boy fucking yeah, uh, so, mosh pit. Yeah, so. <laughs> he just comes in. Crazy, yo, crazy. And the, dude, the place was packed. It like I don't know if you've ever been there, but it's an amphitheater, so it's also like outdoors. Oh, okay. No, wh- wh- which one is that? It's in Lottie though, or West Palm. Oh, oh, it's um. I think it's well. It used to be the Cruzan Amphitheater, right? I, I think so. Yeah. Or like the and the perfect vodka, whatever. Like that's I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's that was one of them. I saw uh, Cold Air with Big Sean opening and Jeremiah. That shit was lit. Oh shit, that's a nice little lineup. That shit Fuck, was lit. Yeah, yeah um, for fourteen. Four yeah, so dude, it was supposed to be. I think it holds like sixteen thousand people. Yeah, it's a but like, bro, I could not see a piece of the lawn, which is all the way in the back. I couldn't see a piece of green. There was so many people. That's crazy, actually. Well, yeah, to have little baby before Chris Brown is is chunk. That's chunk yeah, for yeah. like a random show, you know. Yeah, exactly. And it's like it, it's backed by Rolling Loud. It's a Rolling Loud presents type thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, they have been doing good with those for sure. Yeah. So, can't, dude, can't like Chris Brown's hustle. being fucking thrown up in the air like an angel, and then. He he dropped it drops him down in the center and then he just starts going and then the motherfucker's like you know like, nah, just seeing the impersonation dude when you dropped the photo to me dude oh yeah <laughs> I was yeah. so happy man that shit is yeah. insane um like what the fuck bro like how is that that might that's like challenging for your best photo I know I know <laughs> it's, it's nuts just, like, I, I really like it <laughs> um. Dude, and I, I, I was low key nervous about dropping them just because, like, I didn't want to get any fucking backlash or be like, you know, oh, how because was, yeah, because really. let's, I mean, dude, let's be honest, Chris Brown as a person has had no, he's, he's problems. Super, he's controversial, you know. Yeah, but you weren't thinking that when you posted AB, <laughs> the nut spooker. <laughs> he's probably worse. <laughs> This guy just posted R. Kelly last week, and he's mad about Chris Brown. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, before R. Kelly, it was Michael. You know? Yeah, clearly. Before Michael, it was 6'9". <laughs> um... No, but like no, no, dude. Of course, like, of course. We all know. That I guess like, they don't want to get like any. I I lost followers. Bro, you're seriously. 
at the beginning, I lost two. Uh, I was like, okay. And this was before it really popped off. It, it fucking popped off while I was at Bad Bunny tonight. Um, I gotta catch a glimpse of these warlocks. But, uh, I, you know, like, I... <sighs> Bro, you've gained like, as an artist. Nah, no, this guy's gained like 150 followers since Rolling Loud. I think you can stand the two look cards. <laughs> I'm sorry. As an artist, breezy oh is crazy. Oh my god, I didn't even see all the photos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come on, man. What you've never seen? And fucking I did. I got stomp a lot, the yard. I, I got a lot. <laughs> is that the one yeah. that he's in? Stomp the yard. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. You've never seen this Christmas? Come on. Yeah. That's a- Damn, dude. Nah, but dude, you got some good ones. But dude, that first one, this one's insane. By the way, that's, that's down where he's being puppet. like held. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit's and crazy. that's when he first lands. You know, but the main one is just wow, dude. Yeah, that's and um, honestly, like, he, I just I realize now that he's the black growl. Dude, that's the com- you don't wait. <laughs> did we have the pod when the first Bieber happened? No, right? I don't even know because the first so. Bieber was in nineteen. Was like before COVID. No, yeah, that's that's always who I compared Rao to. I always compared Rao to uh, Chris, like a Hispanic Chris. He's got the Puerto Rican Chris, you know. Um, Damn, and look at that! Like of your last <laughs> four of your last five posts, the two that performed well were the scumbags. So I guess you're doing something nah, the right. Weekend, the weekend no, no, not the week. That's why I was saying but between these four. <laughs> Uh, You'd think Don would get a little more love I, I, Yeah, but I guess the photos weren't that crazy Nah, they were fired you know? It was just the dude's fucking <laughs> Sweating his fucking tail I, I, off. Yeah, and snot's a little more low-key No, the snot the, I absolutely loved your snot set yeah, <laughs> I yeah. loved your Like I, this I like shit Like, that's just fire, bro Um. So whatever I'm just glad people liked it Because it's like Whatever Hell yeah, brother And like, dude I As a kid, like, yo Excuse me, Come miss on, bro. Bruh that and kiss kiss come on brother kiss kiss bro you i was at, at love a love fucking love 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 fiu love alum pause up for kiss kiss in the fucking hallways uh what does that mean huh what does that mean he recorded kiss kiss like the music <laughs> video it's it's <laughs> oh done at fiu God. you could see like yeah damn dude that's crazy that it hits, was that yeah. hits a lot harder than drake's highly high visit <laughs> it's miami senior <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, why didn't why didn't Drake just go to UM? <laughs> <laughs> He's wearing a hoodie. Cut like, the what, man, are you, Drake. what are you doing, <laughs> what dude? The fuck, bro. Um, yeah. <sighs> so that's kind of it for Chris Brown. Like, yeah. man, he came out, dude. Like, he had a bunch of dancers. Everyone's dancing, and they're all fucking killing it. Like, it, it, was, it was, you know, he puts on a good show. Of course, sure. bro. He and little that. baby had dancers. Oh, nice. Did he have dancers at Rolling Loud? I don't think so. Dude, he had this thing where he was all like, he was like, there he was one chick in front. I remember there was a couple, some, one of them, like, those um, upper tier guys had, like, bitches on stage, you know? Women. Sorry. <laughs> it was, they, were, they were bitches, you know? <laughs> like, they were clearly. Sorry. <laughs> um, no, but he had one chick in front. He like he's behind her, and then a, a bunch of others, and they're he's like rapping. Oh, okay, yeah, and it was pretty that, cool. Nah, like that's fire. he's like he's trying different shit, dude. And when he came out, like he came out Probably like playing oh. to the audience. It's a Chris Brown show, you know. It's a yeah, little more yeah. like maybe, but uh, dude, he had like his graphics were crazy. Like he had really? a fire, like that. Oh, dude. I, let me see. I might have a couple I can show you off the off the blinky, uh-huh. or maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> No, but like oh, Lil Baby's just kind of hard to shoot, honestly. Yeah, because he moves around a lot and he has the mic really close to his mouth all the time. Yeah, but as a fan, like you know. Oh, dude, yeah. It would be cool to see, uh, baby. Oh yeah, yeah, like this is when he first came oh, out. Like, dude, fire. the fucking and then the dancers are here with him. Yeah, the but like I didn't realize the screens he, were so good there. Yeah, man. Like honestly, the the lights are pretty good pretty and like. Solid menu. Yeah, 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 it's cool. That's cool. I think for a show, it'd be cool. Because also, it's like a little festival. They have a bunch of little, like, shops yeah. outside. And it's like a little... It, it kind of seems like its like, own little town. Yeah, they should do, like, an excision show there or something. Uh, like, go retarded. Yeah, that could be cool um, for sure. Uh, so, yeah. Now, now, now we finally get to talk about the real go. So, the night progresses. Uh, <laughs> dude, K. Trinata is fucking... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> the live stream of Katrina at a weekend yesterday. Dude, did you see Katrina live? <laughs> yeah. 
First of all, I knew Abel was going to go to fucking live that night and seeing them together. And then the fact that he posts, come on, bro. That's why, bro, he posts the twin thing or whatever. Yeah. The video of them. Like, bro, they're just boys, you know? Like, no, whatever. for sure. It seems like they're having a good time, which is dope because you want to see motherfuckers yeah, who like, are the touring the day, together, the, like, vibing The weekend shit. tour was all about the weekend, so good, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. <laughs> there was um, more than enough fucking performance just from him. Yeah. Um, but so speaking of insanely fucking crazy performers, <sighs> I had to submit to my destiny. Um, check out fucking John Summit at Space, dude. I've never seen the place like this, brother. Jay Summit. <laughs> How is Jay Sum? <laughs> Did Jay Sum make the lights dim, son? <laughs> <laughs> dude, I was summoning my pants the whole time, brother. No, for real, like. His energy level, like, bro, I was obviously telling you last night, but dude, every single motherfucking drop, he's just oh. like, <laughs> yeah, no, dude, a real talk, <laughs> like, he's just like, <laughs> it was awesome, bro. A real talk, when I see DJs, I like to see DJs like be really in it, like, we'll talk about it, but Diplo, like, he yeah. was cool, he was getting the crowd engaged and they were receptive, of course, so he's yeah. good at that, but you, you didn't seem like. No, like, like John Summit know? is like the face lord, dude. Yeah. There's no one facier on the entire earth. Facier. Brother. He's fucking taking tequila shots. Like right, no but like way. like during a part where it's no drop, you know? Yeah, yeah. And then of course the hills are sure the drop, dude. Like I'm telling you, I've been to space like ten times at this point. Yeah, you love a space now. Never <laughs> have I seen this shit like this, brother. It was You're like, like Lufer, bro. You can stay at space. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying like <laughs> I'm so alone. <laughs> <laughs> My Lutheran up there. Yeah, I'm the monkey man. They're just like, get this guy out of here already. My dad just left me at space and I haven't <laughs> gone home since. <laughs> dude, it's just like, I've literally like, dude, normally when you get in and you go up, like, like when you sent me the Chris Brown photo, I was like over at the bathroom. So it's like, the ter- yeah. Like, this is the terrace. Oh, dude, that was, that was so funny. Yeah, that, that whole moment was just perfect because you sent it right when I was over there. At, and I uh, wouldn't have been able you. to truly receive that. Like, if I was. Mind you, thing. this is like at 6 a.m. <laughs> I, I had yeah, been up, like, like editing the fucking something. photos. Like, a sick time to be awake as a fucking human being. <laughs> Yeah, that really hadn't gotten sleep. Let me to be see. Awake at that time, for sure. Uh, I did. It was. It was like the sun was coming it was 535, up. Five thirty-five, I think. Five thirty-five. That's very like. <laughs> I don't know if my. Okay. If hold my, on. Uh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. It, it what? <laughs> five oh two. Oh, so even earlier than I thought. So Sick. Five flat. Sickening. Um. Yeah. Definitely. Uh. Real scary hours for sure. A hundred percent scary hours. Yeah. Um. So, like, dude, it's literally, like, the John Summit stage is right here. It's, like, whatever. It's not even a stage, a booth. And it's, like, this is all the terrace, like, the main terrace. And then there's, like, a second, like, a whole nother side, like, the same size. It's, like, kind of, like, like, the terrace where you can't see the, the performer type shit. Okay. Bro, normally that area is, like, dead. Dude, it was, like, just trying to get back from there when I went to go to the bathroom. Bro. He packed it out. Dude, it was, <laughs> like, bro. Like, so, how big like, is this guy? What do you mean by big? Like in terms of like uh, physical? No man, like his <laughs> his audience and shit. Oh dude, like he's like he's probably like, like Diplo. Diplo's like up here, and I guess Gordo would nah, be a but, little below. But the, dude, and then it's like, just a different level of hype. Cause like right now, like don't get me wrong, like is he oh, like on dip- the way up? What's the deal? Dude, he's like he's basically like he's like the next like massive fucking DJ. Like I don't Heard? know if he'll be like 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 an old head status like a Tiesto, but like probably like. Like a Dylan Francis or some shit. I don't know. Dylan, like just, I mean, dude, Dylan's big. Dude, just like a fucking, like, massive DJ. Like, just oh, massive. Because, okay. bro, he literally does this shit, like, every other fucking night, bro. He's, like, the, the he's the bender lord. <laughs> like, that's oh, he's, he's known grinding. for it. He's, like, the Bert Kreischer of EDM. <laughs> kind of, dude. Okay. You know? Like, he's yeah. just nonstop. Um, bro, he played, eight, he played eight hours. Like, what the fuck, bro? Eight how, hours? How, long, you, how many hours did you stay How many for? hours did I catch? Like, five Bro, and that's that was so five crazy, hours dude. of nonstop like energy, dude. Yeah, because the weekend did like two, right? Yeah, and two no, like. but that's but yeah. The, I except mean, for more it's physically, different, yeah, it's know? more physically demanding for sure. But mentally, dude, eight hours, bro. And right when the sun comes up at six forty, six thirty six. Well, first of all, the best song in Chicago, the I'm drunk and I'm high and I'm in Chicago, and in it, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> 
it's around 6.15 in the morning, and I look at the phone, and it's 6.06. I was just like, bro, this guy had it, like, where it was, like, fucking perfect. He it. And right at 6.45 a.m., <laughs> when the sun starts to creep out, he plays Sun Came Up. <laughs> when the sun came up, we were still Oh, my God, that's trippy. Together. Dude. Like, dum, 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 dum. Bro, his fucking shreds are nuts. Bro, the all of the... I mean, turn off the lights. When he was hitting that, I was like... Ah, ah, yeah. <laughs> Bro, you sent me that snap. Dude, you also sent me a snap where... <laughs> no, the snap is fucking hilarious. Because <laughs> it gave me, like... Whoa, whoa. <laughs> the praise the Lord snap. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. It was... I don't remember remember what song was playing but you were recording it was obviously on jay summit right and he's playing the music whatever and bro you just like become engulfed by the <laughs> smoke, smoke. Yeah, it and is. it's two whole little circles <laughs> of the smoke it's like different colors i was like oh my god i would like lose my shit because not be able to see and it's anything during the big drop of i'm in oh. chicago and i'm in chicago <laughs> <laughs> You're just I, getting fucked by smoke. And I, I, I'm like, this dude, I don't know what time this was at, but I had still had not gone to sleep. And I'm watching it, I was like, oh my god, I gotta get out. Because <laughs> like off my phone, I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. And, and it's ice cold smoke, bro. It's yeah. like, oh, it's so I don't know soothing, how I would feel bro. about like, dude. No, you would love it, dude. It's so I'm soothing. sure it feels nice, a, but like, it's also like crazy. And he's like that for, yeah. for hours, like. Bro, and it was like one of those where like if you had to move, <laughs> like I was I was having the courtesy of waiting until the drop ended to, to ask someone. Like at one point I was right about to go through and I was like, <laughs> the drop shred. Oh. And I'm like, alright, bro. Let me get through. Oh, and he was like, man. respect, respect. But dude, honestly. You gotta, you gotta show, you know, respect to the drop. <laughs> yeah, that okay. shit was insane. Fucking um, EDM rave note number one. Show respect yeah, to the drop. Yeah, for real. Always respect the drop, man. Don't be asking to move in the middle of That's drop. That's the first bro. of the EDM command. That would be like a huge strike. <laughs> I'd just be like, bitch, get the fuck out of my face, bro. No, that's a, uh, what is it, Cardinal Sin? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Like, but anyway, like, so Pasa, when I saw him, like, that dude was just like a nonstop, like, calming energy. But, bro, the fact that it's like, dude, John Summit's like nonstop of a rocket. <laughs> like a fucking Roman candle. I'm like, bro, how does he do it? Um, but anyway, it was a lot of fucking fun. But the craziest part was on the way out. I'm walking to my car. I had a, I had a, I had got the one to mimosa, so I made it for the mimosa, which is like at the sunrise. Okay. That shit hit. Nice. Dude, I'm walking out and like there's this homeless dude and he's just like like shouting obscenities and I'm like oh my god. And at this point like what, I, what I had already saying? left like, my group. John Summit sucks. <laughs> no, he was saying some random shit. I was, I was like, what is he babbling about? And I'm alone because I left my group. Yeah, I'm like, all right, yo, I'm gonna go to my car. Dude, he starts saying, he goes, how on earth are they not going to let those two brothers into the Hall of Fame? <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> this I'm is thinking in my head, me. I wasn't going to ask, but I was like, you I kind of wanted to bite. And he just starts getting louder. How can they not let those brothers into the Hall of Fame? <laughs> and there's people looking from across the street and he shouts into them one more oh, time. Man. I don't even want to say, how did it? and I'm like. I'm like, I'm like slowing down because I'm like, dude, I got to hear. I'm like, who's he talking about? And he goes, Mark Kalane and Mark Dupa. How are them brothers? <laughs> you know who that is? Uh, <laughs> Those were Dan Marino's wide receivers, the Marks brothers. They're not in the Hall of Fame. Dude, no, they're not, which I think is bullshit. But brother, this dude is stuck in 1990. <laughs> dude. <laughs> Could you imagine? Like, I'm just going on her. This is me in 20 years. How is John Summit not in the Music Hall of Fame? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm lost in, t in 2022. Yeah, that's so funny. I just stadium today i like you know how like there's a little banner oh, not yeah, a yeah. banner but no, they, yeah, have, they had them they, they have the have names the, the duper and clayton yeah dude i saw the ring of honor i saw one that i thought said matt moore and oh i was like God, whoa no, i was like no dude could you imagine from, and it's not it's not more yeah from the 73 dolphins oh word yeah a lot Damn. of those are like from that squad okay yeah who i i mean whatever, it doesn't really matter but, but dude no i mean insane um so how was how is El Conejo Malo? That's a word out of respect. <sighs> oh my God. <laughs> it's been a crazy month, brother. Uh, you know how I said 
The weekend was the best concert oh, I've ever dude, been to. Shut the fuck up. I'll literally kill you, dude. I'm gonna snap your neck. Bad bunny? <laughs> no, dude. El Conejo Malo. <laughs> Brother. It's right up there. <laughs> no I swear way, to God. Dude. Swear to God. I can't say it's better, nah, but I also be. can't say it's worse. Not even marginally? Bro, it's it's like right up there. Maybe just like, <laughs> ee, like a ee. God damn, bro. Look, That's intense. Look, obviously, The weekend sounds better, for sure. No doubt, bro. And uh, his catalog is easier for us because, like... Our Spanish isn't that good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we know every word to the to the whole forty yeah. songs that he played. Like when I when I sing Bad Bunny, it's like who the fuck is this gringo? You know, I'm like <laughs> I'm Cuban. I could suck at Spanish, whatever. Uh, but I think he rocked it harder. <laughs> every single person, like dude, uh, Bro, like nah, that sounds. I hate to say it, but it sounds like recency bias. No, 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 it's not. I swear to God, <laughs> I'm just I saying. have video. I have video. I have proof. Did, have you, did you see the video I sent? I think it might. Uh, no, did you I see the video? I, yeah, it was fire. It seemed good. Do, do I need to show you Titi? <laughs> no, I know that a Titi was crazy, bro. But no. I also think that that might just feel like that because the audience is more. You know, but but what I'm saying is that like the audience is a little more ratchet. <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah. I, I, mean I, I would have loved that. Are there, you going to fucking you know Betrayal I mean? or are you not gonna go Betrayal? No, like, no, of course. But like, come on, dude. You know, uh, no one's bro, grinding bro, to call bro, out my name <laughs> except for me. I'm I'm getting sucked off to call out my name. <laughs> Dude, the next time I get head, I'm putting out of time. Out of time means I'm about to bust. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, dude, like it was it was fucking amazing, man. It was fun. Nah, dude, like, like, you know, I mean, the dude's an insane show, man. I'm glad you were able to see the whole show. Yeah, like, I'm glad to, like, dude. Because at, at the arena, you you just left after the three songs, I left right? after the first three, so I didn't see Did that. You, were you able to get good shots? Uh, They put us in front of house, so oh. that's very far. Dude, why do they always do that for bad money? Oh, no, no. Did you get good shots at, at Hard Rock today? It, oh, no, no. They put us in front oh, of house again? today. No way, dude. But at the arena, it wasn't front of house. Oh, they put us in okay, VIP. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, So it was a little closer. Yeah, you, you got the best view with the truck. It, yeah. it just wasn't, like, in front of the fucking truck, so we couldn't get that, which yeah. was, like, the whole um, thing. Yeah, yeah. That was, like, the big, yeah. like, um, getting those shots. No, but, like, dude, the people were just ready. I didn't get sold more than yesterday. You know, and it's Saturday. He, he didn't bring anybody out. Yesterday, he brought out a bunch of people, I think. He brought out, like, three people. I don't want to say a bunch, but today, he didn't bring out anybody. He didn't need to. Yeah, and bro, he just he ripped it for like two and a half hours. Uh, like, uh, yeah, yeah, two and a half hours. And it's just like Damn. he's playing the album, he's playing the old shit, and everybody's singing every fucking word. And dude, for El Apagón, I probably butchered that yeah, word. Yeah, he's yeah. like, uh, everyone was, was talking about that. Uh, Apagón, yeah, uh, fucking what, no, give me a second because I, I wrote this down because I got to do a write up for it, obviously. Uh, Puerto Rico, este cabrón, that, and oh, it's yeah, very yeah, like house yeah, and yeah, yeah. dude, the stadium was shaking. I swear to God, it was like <laughs> it was shaking. And I was like, whoa. Yeah, the FOMO is real for sure, bro. But yeah. honestly, the only thing is that if I did go, I wouldn't have been able to go like all in on Summit, you know. I mean, I had to like <laughs> no. Nah. I mean, the price difference was pretty big too, you know. Like I wasn't trying to pay four hundred bucks. <laughs> it was four. I mean, like, to get it late. Like, bro, I mean, I got the weekend tickets, like, two days before for 150 bucks. you know? like 150 In the hundreds. Like, that's why we were, like, blown away. We had fucking amazing oh seats. God. Like, I had the best fucking time ever. Like, but I, I couldn't splurge for 400 500 bucks. Like, I saw people selling them, and I was just like, nah. Dude, 400 like, bucks for bad? Holy yeah, bro, I'm sorry. The like, love, or the tickets. love uh, Bad Bunny, but I'm not sitting in the 300s. I don't, I don't, I don't personally, I don't think anybody's worth 500. Sorry. No, nah, no. Sorry. I like, don't. literally, it would have to be like Tupac. <laughs> yeah. Or Michael. <laughs> the Beatles, John Legend rises from the dead. Yeah, yeah. Or the Beatles John with, with John Lennon. Yeah, 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 for sure. Dude, that's crazy. I didn't even know about that. Um, yeah, nah. Yeah, the ticket. No, that, that was a good investment. Anyone who bought those tickets when they dropped. Yeah, the, the ticket they gave me was like in 117. So it was kind of like, 
It was, it was to the oh, side so of the right stage. Next to where I was for, I was at 115 for weekend, and 117 is like right here. So yeah, yeah. So it was, it's not like side of the stage. You but actually, it's a little, you're probably yeah. close enough to. The good you thing, was, angle. the absolute best thing about the weekend was that he was performing more in the middle, like than yeah, on the yeah. main stage. So that was fucking. Yeah, OP. Bad Bunny. His stage, his stage, his like set wasn't as heavy. good as the weekends yeah, for no, sure. No way. But dude, he had the whales. I I got a video of the whales that I'll probably post tonight. And then he also had um this like little like circular oh, thing with a palm tree that he got on top and it dude it took him up in the air. No, the guys are that shit player. was fucking nuts. No- Cause I had seen that we've seen Trav, yeah, I've yeah, seen yeah, Drake, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, and no, they've no, done nah, it. But Bad Bunny's a superstar, bro. Anyone who denies it at this point but, is just but racist. doing it in a fucking stadium and it's taking every dude. I mean, he was like like that far. Away from me, That's and crazy. I'm in the fucking the ones. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm in the hundreds, and he's still like, as a fan, you're still able to get like that close to him. Yeah, and like, it, I remember for Travis when he came that close to us, it was fucking awesome. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly, and that shit gets you like as like, a fan hyped. You're like, oh my god, he's right there, you know? Oh no! <laughs> and dude, he uh, he was on he was on that. He was doing uh, El Cancion with uh, from Oasis with J Bow, yeah, and then yeah, yeah. another one that I can't remember. Um, and but the I I feel like he might have had better uh, not pyro but like fireworks. But they weren't yeah. like fireworks that were rolling out. They were like the smaller ones and the sprinklers. Yeah. So, but let's let's be honest. The weekend did a better job of choosing his set list. <laughs> no X one hundred bread. That's what put this guy on the fucking map. Right? I don't know, man. I don't know. How do you not do that? A couple. Songs? How do you not do? But I also like, I also had to like put my camera in the car. Uh, so I had to miss a couple songs. Okay, like, so dude, there was a point then. where uh, he was like doing a minuter. he was doing party, and oh, I could have gosh. sworn I heard Rao. Oh. I was like, dude, these these vocals sound like live because I've heard I've seen yeah, Rao yeah, and yeah, like I know, course, you know, but he wasn't there. Um, so maybe I missed it, but like, it, it, also nah, his his, his catalog is also it's fucking retarded, insane yeah. too. And nah, you look at all, dude. The album, like, Un Verano Sin Ti, it just plays so well in the stadium. And, bro, so I'm he, sure. he, there was one time where, dude, this, this was fucking hilarious. Oh, is this the story? <laughs> this the story? Now we're fucking potting. <laughs> oh now we are fucking potting. Now this is podcasting. Bro. <laughs> my hats are good. My, my glasses is going to remain off for this entire story because I need to deliver this correctly. So I'm shooting from front of house, whatever, first three, yada, yada, standard shit. And I'm like, oh, can I just go to my seat? So I'm <laughs> um, and they're like, no, you just got to put your bag in the car. I was like, fine, no problem. Go um, make sure I have my ticket, drop my shit off, go back in, grab a piece of merch on the way up. Had to my seat, and someone's in my seat. <laughs> not only that, it's not only one person. It's two people. <laughs> Wait, what? Like, they're like a couple, like, grinding in your seat? <laughs> I'm a little ticked off right now. Because now, I'm like reliving it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. I'm I told angry. you. I'm gonna splash. I, I told over you. Here. Now we're fucking potting, <laughs> bro. So I before I even enter the row, I make sure I was like, okay, row fifteen. All right, one seventeen. All right, C eighteen. This is twenty four. Guess what? I gotta walk down. <laughs> yeah, you're like, we've been doing, we've been to a lot of shows. We know what our seat is. <laughs> so, and it, it kind of worked out well because you know. For this op, because <laughs> her man leaves, so then I get to my seat, and I kind of have my seat, you know. I'm like, <laughs> I get to my seat, I turn, check the number. I was like, this is my seat. <laughs> okay. She goes to me. She's like, um, these are our seats. <laughs> she took the bait. <laughs> You're sitting there like, <laughs> the, everything's very calculated. And I'm like, I check my ticket again. I'm like, no, this is my seat. (laughs) And she goes, oh, but we've been here. And I was like, so have I. (laughs) Over there. On the floor. (laughs) So I've been here too. 
And she's like, oh, well, um, maybe your ticket is fake. <laughs> and I go, listen here, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> 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 oh my god he turns it to Andrew Tate hear me correctly kind <laughs> I want to make sure my words reach you properly <laughs> oh my god. you fucking whore <laughs> <laughs> I don't say any of these words because <laughs> I'm a gentleman, you know? So I'm like, I'm sure she can feel it. <laughs> oh, she can feel the words. Though. We're not anywhere close to the end of this story. Oh, so I'm my. like, oh, mine's fake. <laughs> okay. I go up to the little people that are like, oh, your, your seat's right there, you know? Uh, I don't know what they're called, their job professions. Yeah, like, but um, I, I'm not sure. Yeah, I go to the usher. I'm like, listen, some people are in my seat. Uh, can you get them out? And he's like, uh, no, you got to go to guest services. And I'm like, yo, I've already missed a couple songs. <laughs> yeah, like you're, you're out of the amount of songs that you can miss here. You want me to go to guest services? All right. No problem. <laughs> Up into the 100. No back problem. To the fucking- no problem. <laughs> Get service. Bet. Go out, start walking. I ask a couple people, yo, where's guest services? I'm I got a situation that needs to be handled. And then this lady goes, um, to be honest, I'm not really sure where guest services is. <laughs> and she works there. <laughs> How the fuck? You don't know? Well, all right. They're all part and then time she goes, employees, just like they get services. I asked a cop. I was like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no, go up to these two cops. I'm like, listen. You know, I was just shooting. You know, I'm a photographer, whatever. I'm trying to get to my seat. People are in my seat. Can you guys help me out with this? So now I'm walking back with two cops. Oh, my <laughs> God. The little man turned off. <laughs> You're like flames coming out of your head. You're just like. <laughs> so I'm walking back, you know. Walk back. Go through the little tunnel thing. And I'm like, listen, you know. I go back to the usher. I'm like, these people are in my seat. <laughs> this needs to be handled. And right next to him is another cop. So now you have three cops. I have three cops. A trio of cops and the usher. An usher. So we go down, right? <laughs> oh God, I feel like I'm about to come. <laughs> this is amazing. We're walking, and I'm like, look at, look, look, look at my ticket, you know. We go down. He goes to the same place I was at. And I'm like, okay, that's my seat. <laughs> and um, the fucking usher busts out his fucking phone, starts recording recording the show for a little bit. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, little... I had to add in this little tidbit. I'm like, <laughs> he's like the Kanye meme. And smiling. I, I'm, I'm in the aisle. I'm like, hey, guy. It can't all be your seats. <laughs> yeah, like get the job done. So he's talking to the guy, whatever. And it's, it's a couple minutes going. On. I'm in the aisle, I'm in, watching the show, but also watching this little side show. It's a little spectacle, the circus. Um, they talk for a couple minutes, whatever. They turn around and they start walking out. And I step to the side in the row before, let them walk. And I see the the woman who was like, you know, an iwe puta <laughs> singao. <laughs> yeah, cause her her man looked like a bum. That guy was a waste man. Uh, and step to the side, and you know I see she's coming up, so I'm like, don't even make eye contact with this fucking low life. <laughs> All right. Don't rub for this low life. Nope. And uh, it's kind of like gets in my face. 
<laughs> this is why you need to have a Taurus card on your arm so everyone knows. And I go. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> he, go, he went full Chris Brown. <laughs> Two nights. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, and, you know, I look at her. I'm like. Didn't even say a word. <laughs> yeah, like, and I, I was like, cheat, what's dude? up? Like, 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 I was like, I literally said, what's up? And she didn't say a word. She goes kind of like smiling and it's like, like how I was guys, like, like and I wanted to be like, I really wanted to do this, but I, I'm not a guy who forms shows. The I'm not a guy who forms shows. I can when I need to. Of course. And I did this time. And I just wanted to be like, Whose ticket is fake now, bitch? <laughs> That's what you're thinking. It was ringing in your head the whole time. Oh, I was, I was like, uh, I was like, so what happened to your tickets? <laughs> I really wanted to, but whatever. And I walked back in. I, you know, all the people like around because they they had already seen like what was going on. Yeah. They're like, oh, they like took your seats. I'm like, yeah, like you know, it's sad. I was, dude, I. How are you gonna have the audacity yeah. to say, "Are you? Oh, your tickets are probably fake." I got them from the publicist. Knowing that you're fucking lying. You stupid, <laughs> fucking broad. Like you just knew no matter what. It was uh, a, it, like there's no. I'm not losing. Possible. And then the way. usher was like, "Oh, go up into 18." I was like, "No, no, 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 no! I'm not gonna go anywhere, dog. Because <laughs> no. I'm not a fucking." Piece of shit. Yeah. Like, Give me my seat. That's my fucking Give me ticket, my fucking bitch. seat. And it's like you would think like, <laughs> no, okay, dude. we're gonna creep down. Like some, they must have had tickets, right? Because you gotta get in the stadium somehow. You don't just fucking yeah. break into a stadium. So if you're gonna like at least if you're gonna try to finesse lower, maybe get the number of seats that matches the number of people you're fucking with. It's two people to one yeah, seat. Yeah, like, like one fucking seat. Just, oh, yeah, no, these are our seats. Because my seat, when I was there, there was a chick to my fucking left and a chick to my right. There was no space for anything. Yeah, like, that's clearly... You're, you're just a fucking idiot, dude. That, yeah. That's how, like... I knew that that type of shit would happen at the Bad Bunny crowd, you know? Like, no, but besides that... All Luckily, the, dude, yeah, the, people no, the people were nice as fuck. Cool. Like, nah, that's good. Everyone was like, nah, it's just some fucking scum who paid the cheapest ticket and probably fucking thought they were gonna Photoshop their thing and it'd be. Like, oh no, no, no! And the best part is, yeah, it's And the best part, dude, while uh, the usher and those people were uh, talking, uh, some point the usher just goes like this, <laughs> like hi. <laughs> it looked like he was fucking Usain Bolt. Like, <laughs> that's me pointing at the. That's me pointing at the disco ball at three points. <laughs> and, like, everyone's wrong. And, and it was real funny because um, it felt like these people were all grouped up and they had, like, different fucking row, rows. So you would see, like, one dude <laughs> in the row in front of you be talking to, like, People in like three <laughs> rows lower, they're like, yo, yo, yo. And then the chick next to me was talking to oh, the I'm dude sure behind. I'm sure there was a lot of that. I'm sure there was a lot of that. And it was a lot of love, like just honestly. people buying tickets from like, yeah, you know, yeah, the same and, section kind of know, thing. People guess it, it, was, it was a cool vibe. It was a cool but vibe. But did anyone show. bark for, for Bad Bunny or no? Did anyone bark? <laughs> I think that that's the distinction. I don't think so. But that, 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 I'm glad you bring that dude because uh, at Cashy's show, that was a, a low trend. Oh, that was that's, bark heavy? Yeah, it was. Because it started the night before in like Orlando or some <laughs> shit. Like some other date, maybe it was uh, Atlanta. People were barking at him. And then it happened again in fucking Fort oh Lauderdale at God, Revolution dude. Live. And he's like, oh my God, are we going to make this like epic. a trend, like a thing? That's and they were like, <laughs> like crazy. And I Kendrick had a, Perkins. <laughs> I had already known that this had been a thing because I saw oh and I was just God. checking it out. And then I saw I have it. I was like, oh my God, this is hilarious. This is great. <laughs> you know. Bro, I just want to say real quick that because the Usher thing made me think about it, bro. The, first of all, the security at Space or like the people who work there, I can't like, dude, those motherfuckers are doing the devil's work, literally. Imagine, like, you, you saw how packed I told you it was? Yeah. These motherfuckers' job is to, like, just go through the packed crowd and, like, sweep out garbage and shit and, like, get it all out. Oh, wow, it's going on? <coughs> That's like, crazy. right in the middle. Bro, I swear to God, it's like a fucking jump scare, dude. <laughs> like, everything's just normal. Oh, my God. They literally come out of a portal or something. 
Oh, shit. Dude, <laughs> every time. I guess imagine you like recording the DJ, <laughs> the smoke takes over and goss. And then while you're recording, right in front of fucking uh, <laughs> Dude, security, it's literally happened to me where the security's in front of me with the smoke. But yeah, it's such a weird feeling. <laughs> it comes out of the smoke, you know. <laughs> like a fucking genie or some shit. Like the, like the weekend coming out of fucking... <laughs> coming out of his coke chamber. <laughs> Alright, um, I think we've done enough concert coke chamber. talk. We're um, not in. Yeah, yeah, we did. Uh, what, anything else about Bad Bunny? No, it was fun. It was fun. Yeah, I'm sure. I can't say it was better than the weekend, yeah, but it was nah, like it was on like that, that it level. Lived up, it lived up. And yeah. he killed it. He was like, he sounded great. I mean, we all knew like the back to back weekends like that at a fucking hard rock. Like those are just gonna be two like legendary shows. Yeah, like, I think dude, everyone Bad knew Bunny's that. doing back to back nights. Like, yeah, like personally crazy. myself, I'm super glad I chose weekend because I kind of would have had to have chose, you know, like me, like money yeah, wise. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, dude, the Bad Bad Bunny will be back. For sure. Yeah, I'll yeah. see him. I'll see him. I'm not worried Bad about Bunny's, it. Bad Bunny's one you should trust you should me. You know, see. Yeah, I've <laughs> actually I technically seen him three times, but actually twice. Yo, if by the way, I don't want to like get too uh, business talky on the pod, but if somehow you can come up with a an extra pass for Vibra, I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that lineup's fire. <laughs> that just sounds fun, bro. <laughs> I'll make some phone calls. <laughs> I love I'll how it's the one I'll of all of them that you have the most pool with, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I, I know the owners and shit. They're all good people, you know. And I, I told you one of them I used to ball with back when I was a kid and shit. Oh yeah, and they're all good. Um. I mean, I don't know if I could get you a pass. Yeah, yeah. No, I also no, don't, don't think the passes are crazy don't expensive. Don't feel too pressed, but yeah. Like but if, I'll ask and see if I could like a like, hundred bucks or something. I'd, I'd do it, but like I just uh, don't want to uh, be spending three hundred. Yeah, or yeah. Something. No, I, I, and I feel like uh, that one, that one could be a good one to go to too. I've, uh, dude, last last year was uh, I mean, honestly it looks a great fun, one. But like, bro, like Balvin, like and Maluma is the big. Yeah, that's yeah, like yeah. crazy. And dude. then like, um, it's also so big. And isn't it Rowler too? No, not this year. Oh, but there's another big like I feel like that's I think second it's Checo line is and Checo's like an OG and then um what Jai? Oh, Nicky Jam. Mm. Oh, so oh no. Wow, this lineup is crazy as fuck. <laughs> Yo, shout out Vibra and all the gang over there. They're really killing it. So day 1 is Maluma, Don Omar, Jayco. Oh, that's yeah, Jay Cortez. Yeah, yeah. yeah and Jay fire. Cortez. I'd like to see him. Yeah, Checo Corleone, who's an older one. Mora, Mora's fire. Ryan Castro, he's coming up. And there's a couple other people, but that's kind of like day one. Day two, J Balvin, Nikki Jam, Sech, Sech is oh, gas. Yeah, I'd like to see him. Uh, Fed, Lunai, Lunai is also gas. <laughs> Lunai, Lunai, De La Ghetto. Uh, I haven't seen him. But I'm sure that would be good. Yeah, no, the lineup is fucking crazy. Oh, uh, uh, Sid Santana. That's uh, Joe Budden's baby mama. Oh, my yeah. God. Nah, that would just be one to go and just fucking party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and, uh, like, uh, the vibe is great. Yeah, like, I'm sure. Just, yeah, that's why I'm that's, like, that's fuck it. Like, I, like, I like experiencing shit, you know? That's another one of those where, like, the love is just there for sure. 100%. You know? It's good to feel and that. it's getting huge. Yeah, it is. It's going to be crazy. At some point, they're going to have to leave the fair and get, like, some fucking... <laughs> I mean, the fair has big space, but, like, nah, but if yeah, they get bad probably... money, they'll have to use hard rock. Yeah, yeah, they will for sure. You know. Um, that, I'm super hyped for that, man. I can't wait to shoot that. That's gonna be so much fun. But anyway, um, speaking of um, speaking white... of shooting up. <laughs> so, wait, where are you You're gonna go? Speaking of white dudes who have odd effects on women, uh, Pete Davidson is now admitted to <laughs> the trauma award. <laughs> is that real? <laughs> I mean, dude, I don't know. I saw a photo of him and like some chick. I, th- I, I don't know, but there's a lot of fake edits about the about those. So yeah. I don't know if I trust it. Um, yeah, I don't know either. Um, I mean, dude, the thing about bagging abroad like Kim is that you know at some point you're gonna fumble it. <laughs> like, but like, she's the un she's the un non fumbleable abroad. Like she's just always gonna be fumbled. How many tattoos does he have about it? Yeah, like, like five? Dude, no, that's fucking psychotic. I like, guess okay. not just one like Ariana. Yeah, like Ariana if you just have a like a KK shit. or some like I don't know or some fucking inside joke you have with her. But to have 
another man's fucking kids like initials tatted on your fucking skin. Like, what the oh. fuck is wrong with you, dude? Oh, I like, about that. that's crazy. That shit's weirder than wearing a vial of someone's blood. Like, that's creepy, dude. Like, I don't know, dude. Like, the fact that he's his dick has made it this far is a miracle. Because usually the guy who gets tats too early in relationships is a fucking cringe loser. So, I mean, like, good for him. It's good for him. <laughs> yeah, they, he's been chewed out and spit up and booed they dated off stage. for what nine months. Yeah, they lasted and a, nine a months to get five tats is that's crazy. Fucking retarded. He's autistic. Like, I, I mean, I don't have any tats, but like, goddamn, like, no, nah, that's crazy, dude. I don't care if you're like a fucking tat sleeve, like, brother. This like, gets, this gets very you cringe. love too hard, brother. And no, and then what and Kanye shows. did. Oh, dude, that's the best thing he's ever done. Ski Davidson dead at 28. That was crazy. And <laughs> that the was sub headline? Evil. Oh, yeah. With Kid, Kid Cudi. Um, scared of water bottle throwers. <laughs> that one had a grown man cackling on the toilet. <laughs> that one was like when you first see it. <laughs> like just uncontrollable laughter. <laughs> nah, but dead ass. Bro, I have to make the point. I have to hammer it home one last time, dude. When you fuck Kanye West's 10-year ex that he has five kids with, you know damn it's five fucking or three kids, whatever. Four, I don't right? fucking know. I don't even know, dude. Because it's northeast, but that's southwest. that's a lot, dude. <laughs> and Saint. Shut up. Wait, really? <laughs> Ten oh more minutes God. go by. Lance is taking his glasses off. And say North and uh, like one or two. I don't Whatever, know. but Who regardless, brother, you knew what you're getting yourself into. You are literally yeah. doing that shit to yourself, bro. It's Kanye fucking West, the King Gemini, this motherfucker who found God. The slander had to happen. Covid <laughs> it <laughs> Send it to all the Gemini yeah. women we know. <laughs> like, come on, dude. I'm sorry. Kanye West is a fucking menace, dude. He's a menace, and you don't think he's possessive over women? <laughs> you think <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. that's his wife, man? <laughs> like, you think he's him of all people? Come on, they're just on a break. <laughs> and yeah. he did the Julia Fox run, but he realized that this wasn't the uncut gems, Julia. You know. So he got out real quick. Yo, that's so funny. <laughs> Dude, if it was Uncle J- Julia, he's never leaving her. That, that's another 10-year relationship. Yeah, let's not talk about that. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm sad about that run ending. Um, yeah, he, like, what's his deal? <laughs> like, like, you moved on. She can't. Like, that's a little crazy to me. All right. Whatever. Uh, that, hey, that shit's you crazy. Know. It's a deep, dark place that my uh, Pray for um, Pete, bro. You know, like, <laughs> Pete's going through hard times. <laughs> if that was me, y'all would have This pod would take a fucking month-long break. <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be crying in the corner. <laughs> Niggas hitting me up like... No, nah, I'm doing... What's do- up, man? Are you ready to pod? I'm doing dolo pods, and you're in the corner just sniffling. <laughs> <laughs> just there. <laughs> Another, uh, like, it's like weekend update style, but it's just me. Juan Soto traded to the San Diego Padres. Yeah, you almost like wonder. Him. Yeah, he's just there in the in the beetle, and like the camera just pans over to you every like an office shot or something. Yeah, I'm, I'm in the corner. Like. <laughs> it's okay, ladies and gentlemen. Now Lance is on sabbatical due to fumbling um, the biggest bag of all time. Um, but anyway, you know, anyone who posts Chris Brown on his Instagram kind of deserves it, if you ask me. <laughs> and you just hear the, the fake audience laugh. <laughs> it's the only way to fill it in. Yeah, we should get a soundboard at some point. That'd be fun. Yeah, 100%. Like, once we reach that hump, you know, hopefully we could just have some like a I like a little producer a doing producer, that. Yeah. That'd be fun. Doing the soundboards. That's a that's a major <clears throat> But um, we're going to have to speed run this a little bit because it is getting late. Good thing we were able to do the full Pete Davidson. Yeah. Because that was wow, nice. 227. Yeah. Um, yeah. Honestly, yeah. I mean, I really don't have much much to talk about with the Dolphins Brady stuff. I just have the one line. What about line. the pick? Well, yeah. That's, this is the bar. This is the bar. Okay. Okay. The Dolphins. 
Dolphins lost a first round pick for not even fucking getting Brady? Bro. That was foul, right? What? That's retarded. <laughs> like, Yo, you're telling me the rest of the teams brother. don't lose a pick? You you lose a pick for not getting the guy. How does that even matter? Like also, what? That, that's meanwhile Deshaun Watson just played yesterday. Like, yo, he killed it. You saw that? Oh yeah, seven yards, bro. What a One fucking for five. god. Yeah. Yo, you saw that it's video? Got a where cloud over like, his head. Uh, uh, you sick fuck. At the Jags, I sent it on Instagram. Damn. They were like, you sick fuck. You sick fuck. Oh my god. While he was like under under snap. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. I like that. Um. I, I think like it was. I think the Jags fans were doing that, but also like, how come? <laughs> Leave it to Duvall. <laughs> how come like nothing's even happening to Brady? I mean, I guess he's a go- golden child, but you, like you're not gonna like suspend him a game or something. Brady's I don't know, the LeBron, like, bro. It's LeBrady. Like yeah, you know, yeah. they retired. I mean, no, I get it, but like, yeah, man, they retired number six, but LeBron gets to keep wearing it. You know? Yeah, but R.I.P. Like, um, R.I.P. Bill Russell. Bill Russell for sure. I do not agree with them. Retiring his number at league wide though, I don't care how much of a legend he is. <laughs> um, number six is too popular of a number, bro. I'm sorry. To to, uh, to be honest, I agree, but I also don't. I I wasn't aware of like Bill Russell's like civil rights impact. No, I feel until like, he dude, passed no, away. Like, don't get me wrong. To be like, honest, guy, like that dude, wasn't bar his own all, legend for sure. But like, well, yeah, just, yeah, we it, know it just sets a weird precedent. But like, I but I feel like he was always uh, like, dude, the eleven rings and the Celtics. He no, was the no, first like course, clear coach. Of course. I never really knew about like Not all that shit he legend. did off the court. But what in fifteen years or twenty years it's gonna be? You can't wear number six. You can't wear number twenty three. You can't wear number fucking thirty. Yeah, you can't that's wear this that that's that. Like, a, come on, dude. You know, like, league wide is crazy. Guys who have like impacted I the think. league. Like, I don't know. Yeah, like what Kareem did it. We're not gonna say Kareem did it. Yeah, Kareem's right. not gonna get thirty three retired league wide. Like at, at some point, Michael took the game global. Yeah, Magic Johnson Magic and Larry Bird Larry, are the reason why like, the yeah, NBA exactly stayed alive. What I'm talking about you know, you know Kobe, uh, Kobe's Kobe, impact on China. Now LeBron, Curry. What well, you got to? Yeah. Oh, so yeah, it's just fucking. Stupid, I, you know, at some but, point, like, and then yeah, I, dude, the numbers are gonna be whack. Yeah, Wade. He made it okay for men to get their ass eaten. Come on, three. Done. Look at what he did for the fucking rim jobbing community. <laughs> you know, like, for rimmers around, rimmers of America. If it wasn't for Wade, a lot of people would be out of rim jobs. <laughs> <laughs> I dream of asking um, him that question one day. Still, yeah. I'll always dream. And Pope did say he'd get an ass tat, if, uh, a banterhead's ass tat, if we did it. <laughs> if we actually asked. <laughs> D Wade, if he gets sassy in fucking real union, I have it on video. <laughs> no way. Yeah, I have like Pope's proposal on video. He's like, I'll do it. Oh my god, we gotta make that happen. I know, bro. At Fuck. all, any any means necessary, but I feel like we're um we're a ways we're away, making but... waves. We're making waves. Yeah, I just want to say, oh, yeah, you're gonna do, it. yeah, go. I just want to say, like, the TikTok love has been fucking awesome. Unreal, um, honestly. A lot of those people might not even be watching our pods yet because that's just the name of the game. But the fact that we've literally got like at this point like a hundred organic followers in like a month is fucking crazy. Um, They're doing numbers, you know, more so, than our following. So that's uh, yeah. that always means we're just reaching new audiences and people are yeah, like every showing love. Like we had one where, like I said, it was like. Forty percent of like fifteen hundred people watch the whole video, like yeah. a full minute. And video. Yeah, and your like, your fucking uh, RL story went wild, you know. Yeah, like it did. It, I feel like the only thing that might have uh, heard it was that it was a little long, but like it needed to be. To, like, yeah, but really... we like, and also it's our first long one. Yeah, if you yeah, want yeah, a shorter yeah. one, go watch yeah, others. Exactly. You know, we have so plenty. we have plenty. Uh, but the you... good to do a TikTok exclusive. Maybe we do your story as a TikTok exclusive as well. Maybe a little yeah. Longer go to um, half of it too. And the short did crazy. Oh, uh, yeah. The what was oh the mandatory bisexuality. Yep. Yes, um, YouTube likes likes our fucking gay content, but uh, some of your comments y'all gotta chill. Instagram, but like, I, I understand there's a lot of crazy nah, people out there. So those motherfuckers on Instagram, like for real, need to chill though. Like, the, like you're getting way too worked up over clearly a joke. Like, and it's like we're not. <laughs> like you we can't didn't tell. send out the tweet, and you can't tell. You can't. We're you can't joking. tell that like, bro, our fucking. Vibe doesn't give you joking like I, on, I, I like everyone's doing a fucking thesis and uh fucking essay. Yeah, we got a whole like, ass fucking yo, 
We got a journal entry from fucking. Oh, no, that was that one was kind of funny. Nah, I liked that, yeah. but but there was uh, a couple of nasty comments that I deleted. <laughs> so. Yeah, I, I I was trying to read one and then it was already gone. Uh, but like, yeah, like. I'm just not gonna leave. We're here. Like, we are hating for no reason. Just fucking keep scrolling if you don't like. And we're here shit. for a good time, yo. Not a long time, you know. Sure, like yo. so, like. Take take some light off. Yeah, you know? man, it's alright. Just some like, like straight up like thank me later, okay? Um. I was about to say some of you people, but it's not really <laughs> the people that are deep, this deep in watching yeah. or listening. Like this doesn't nah, go to you guys, but like, in general. like the, the randoms, the randoms like, like it's just the fucking population, like fucking. Idiots. A lot of y'all don't have anything going for you, and it's yeah. so clear yeah, by the so way evident. you try interacting with other people online. Like, go outside, bro. Yeah, Touch some grass. Like, if you're gonna get like that, like you're not getting it's entertained. Fucking, like, you're motherfucking cringe, sis. You have nothing to do with my life. You're gone. Blocked, deleted. And a lot of y'all wouldn't say that to our fucking faces. Oh, no, you know? no, because we'll fucking kill you. <laughs> Straight up. We'll take you out fucking back and skin you alive and have your fucking organs on display like fucking... And we'll show up on the fucking next <laughs> problem with your faces on us. With you as a fucking... Wearing uh, your face. We'll have you as a fucking um, taxidermy we'll, on the we'll wall. We'll throw you up <laughs> above these fucking posters. We'll just hang your face off that. Straight up. Larry David? No, it's going to be your nah, face. Nah, first we're going to play dodgeball with your severed heads. <laughs> Someone watched dodgeball yesterday. Yeah. That's funny. And it shows. Um, but anyway, I think we were talking about nine non-binaries earlier in this episode, so na- it's natural we get back into our comfort oh, I, zone. I, I, I do want to talk about this because, like, okay, so, uh, uh, man, Warner Brothers, it got, like, not Warner Brothers, but HBO Max got, like, absorbed by, like, fucking Disney Discovery, Discovery Plus. Plus, and that might be horrible. But it's because only men watch HBO Max and only women watch Discovery Plus, duh. What? <laughs> yeah. So, it, did you send where it was like, oh, they're thinking about going three routes? No, but it was Saw like, it? I mean, honestly, it's see. probably going to be like kind of tough to find that. That's like deep in squad or something. But, um, I mean, Warner whatever. Brothers. Like, if, yeah, like the, the shit with Ezra Miller has just been like, holy fuck, dude. They are wreaking havoc on so many different cities and people like he they've affected so many lives at this point yeah yeah but no, none it's more than the lives of the warner bros people who are literally fucking doing anything to get the flash movie that was supposed to be their version of a multiverse type thing with fucking yeah it was supposed <laughs> to have batman and it's supposed like, to have fucking uh the og batman what's his name again um uh birdman <laughs> yeah uh Michael Keaton, yeah, like they, they, Keaton, come on, yeah. bro, like, dude, it's this, um this non-binary is reek, wreaking havoc on that studio. <laughs> I kind of love it because fuck WB anyway, but like, yeah, god damn, dog. No, they don't. They Chill. Don't do fuck. <laughs> So, uh, dude, they were. It, it was so funny because they were like, "Oh, we're we're thinking about three routes of taking it." One, he comes out and does, does like a whole apology, <laughs> right? Two. Oh, oh, wait, wait. I, I, I think I got it. I think I got it. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Oh, okay. It wasn't the one in the juice. Did you send any juice? Can you check on your you phone? Because I don't want to lo- lose where I am. You sent the Ezra. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Ezra Miller giving an interview explaining their erratic behavior and then doing <laughs> limited press. <laughs> That's number That's one. That's a cherry on top of the limited press. That's the one I hope Number two, yeah, come on. I got to see those press fucking clips. Number two, the most logical route. <laughs> Dump Please movie, don't take. Cut them out. No, no, no. Ezra Miller plays no part in the film's promotion. <laughs> Yeah, you just put it out. He's not part of the the film. He's just kind of like this like yeah. old cat, cat character that used to be or uh, fuck this. And number three, which they've already done, and we should talk about. It. We'll brush over it. They completely scrapped the film, <laughs> which would be nuts. Because they, they mean, did they, that they, to Batgirl. Yeah, they, but Batgirl, wow, dude, what a disaster! Like it was already filmed. It was done. It was I like know, I know, but dude, a lot crazy. of times movies get caught in the hell. Like dude, because they were gonna release it, and it was just gonna be like some fucking. Um, that movie was fucking the chick from Game of Thrones where it's like, um, 
Let me find it. Let me find it. Let me find it. Which Whatever. one? Cersei? Like, or? This huge flop. No, the young girl. The like the fucking dagger Macy? girl. Yeah. Macy Williams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Thanks for saying that because now we'll be able to find it easier. Yeah. Um, Wait, so she had a movie scrape too? She had a movie, not scrapped, but it was one that, it, oh, uh, The New Mutants. That that was like in, in like oh. production hell for like four years or some shit. I remember hearing about And they finally that. released it and it was just like a total tank, Damn. you know? Yeah. No, probably they, paid, like, they, like it probably would have, because they're, they're probably thinking, oh, if we put out Batgirl, it's going to cost us more money to do it. And it's going to end up being a bigger flop than Morbius. But the thing about Batgirl is already done, so why not just put it out, no? Yeah, I mean, I feel you, but no, nah, it's because the, the price Maybe. to promote it afterwards is what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, and the Discovery guy's like really just like frugal as fuck. He's like, let's do reality shows only, and he hates scripted content. Yeah, I'm sure he does. It's fucking like, Discovery. Bro. Like, dog, come on. Well, he probably won't like the rehearsal too much, but you gotta fucking watch that shit. One more episode left in the season. I'm fucking hyped. Yeah, I gotta check it the out. The cackles, brother. The cackles. I've been hearing I've been hearing a lot about it. Um, like when I watch it, I'm just live texting fucking Andrew, and it's like probably like fifty fucking messages. Oh my god! <laughs> I, yeah, I saw I saw a tweet on my timeline where it's like, uh, dude, the people in the rehearsal can't be real, like <laughs> Never humans. Real. Like wait you know? till you see her. Yeah, I'm trying to finish. Um, when you see her, it's over. Uh, Umbrella Academy. I'm like somewhere in the middle of season, season three, three, but I, there's, there's <laughs> yeah, no I breaks, bro. That show. <laughs> All right, bro. <laughs> bro, you've already told me you hate it. It's okay. Let's have a real conversation. I know let's let's pod. Motto. Let's pod. Like, let's I, pod. I'm sorry that I enjoy the show. <laughs> it's not like bad, but like what's keeping me in there besides like five and Klaus? You yeah, know, like, like those characters just make the show. I feel like those Especially characters are super gravitating. Pogo and you're like, oh, I like it, seeing them on and... screen, but like Allison. Lame, Lou for lame, uh, Victor now. It's cool. I I like the progression. They did of, a good job of that. Yeah, they did yeah, a good job yeah. Of that. that was yeah, like one that I like. And also, for. I have a note from season two, which is really funny. This is kind of like, uh, whoa. bro. Do you know what makes that entire series for me? Five meeting his 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 self. Like that part when they're around yeah, each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's bugging. <laughs> yeah, no, dude, and and all the paradoxes and shit, like all that stuff is just cool, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, you know, like and the time travel of like superhero vibes, like you know, the really time travel is cool. But I, 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 like, I feel like the ideas are cool, but the execution is yeah. kind of like a miss here and there. I feel you on that. You and know what I mean? The like pace, the ideas are the fire. Is a little off. Like, and it, the, yeah, I think if the show was like seven or eight episodes per season instead, it would be stronger. Oh you know? yeah, I think so like, too. Cut out a little bit of the fluff. Look at this, look at this. I, I wrote this down. Season two, <laughs> episode six. Diego is talking about... Uh, oh, wait, let me read this before. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Diego's talking to Lufer and, and Vanya at the time. And he's like, uh, you know, we're both fucking... We're all grown men here. And women. <laughs> Not in season Four three. Foreshadowing. Well... And that's where I think nah, the show so, really shows how nah, fucking good it is. <laughs> Diego's know? pretty solid, though. He's yeah, one of the yeah, better I'll, characters. And uh, his girl. And then did you meet the kid yet? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that I, I want to talk about, yeah. That, like, like, that show did a pretty good job of bringing in interesting characters. Because even the other, the Sparrow Academy was fun. Yeah, you know? and I think his character has gotten better with the whole dad relationship. Like, uh, he gives uh, Ash, <laughs> no, Ashtray, yeah, yeah Ashtray, yeah, like, fucking... Yeah. Eight dollars, he's like, go, go, go. That's like, here's eight dollars, take the town. And it's like, what am I supposed to do with eight dollars? Like, that's yeah, a Chipotle bowl in yeah this oh, I guess finish where, um, so but yeah, that's like one of the where you don't really need to be like fucking glued, you know? Yeah, like, uh, where the episode I just watched is when the Umbrella Academy meets the Sparrow Academy. Also, hate what they did with Ben's character. Oh, yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. Ben, but not ben lie, as an actor, funny. is legit yeah. because of the fact that. He was able to like make you like him and then make you be like, hey, that sucks. Like, so easily. But so that his arc's fun. You'll see. Yeah, yeah, and it's interesting. Um, they met in like a hotel lobby and the old dude up comes out of nowhere and goes shut shit down. No, the hotel. Sh oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, 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 I feel like I'm it's, supposed um, to remember where he's from. I don't know if he's a new character know, or like, know, but yeah. Know, know, so that part was cool. Yeah, it has its moments, you know. It has. I just feel like. Couple tweaks here and there, and I could have been out oh, of here. And also, yeah, and also it sucked that like some of the memorable characters from early on aren't in it anymore. Like, um, what's her name? Um, Vanya, Mary J. Blige. Oh my god, 
Vaughn is not there. Yeah, that ass. Uh, Mary J. <laughs> Blige and fucking. Oh, the, uh, oh the, the dude. And her partner and yeah. then the redhead lady, like the leader of the uh, time traveling people. Like. Oh, but she got know. off. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm just saying, like, yeah, this yeah. Is, like those are pretty good characters. For sure. You know? Yeah. Um, but anyway. Oh, that, that that part was cool where uh, five like figures out the time travel because everyone gets fucking oh yeah like killed crazy. by the by the yeah, dude yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh that, and that also was a super memorable scene also the the so there was like three brothers or twins or whatever the fuck that were like sent to haunt the Umbrella Academy uh hunt the Umbrella oh, Academy yeah. and then one of them has to like strangle his own fucking brother because oh, Allison yeah. was like I heard a rumor that yeah, you like oh, killed no, your brother no, and he's just there and like dude his dude that scene. That that was a crazy fucking yeah, scene for sure, and he was like he he did a great job of showing it on his face, like how, <laughs> how fucking sick that like moment is. It's even more sick than Luffy and Allison kissing. <laughs> yeah, which is basically incest. And <laughs> there's a really but they're not epic, biologically related. No, there's an epic riff on that in Shorzy, dude. I think you need that as a palate cleanser. It's a six Shorzy? episode, maybe t- twenty five minutes each. So yeah. fucking Here's funny, the thing bro. If you think Elon's dad Dating his daughter Is sick Then there's no way You can think <laughs> Lufra and Allison <laughs> Kissing is not see, uh, I, Fuck I can't you. wait for you To see that Shorzy Dude it's so Shorzy? funny bro That five minute It's like a five minute Scene about that It's non-stop that's, that's um, cool. I'm actually watching Real quick uh, This new show I just started it Unbound The or, rehearsal uh, No the amazing show Uncoupled Bro so it's this Uncoupled. movie It's super I'm just Disclaimer for y'all, it's gay as fuck. <laughs> but it's literally Neil Patrick Harris, like playing a gay dude Himself. who's been basically who's been in a relationship with some dude for seventeen years and he just like the guy just randomly dumps him. Oh but it's just dude, there's some funny ass fucking lines in it. Is it's it one a- of those shows where you kinda of barely like where I barely pay attention and then I'll just like cackle over the stupidest joke. Oh, it's a Netflix like exclusive. Yeah. Pretty, cause I was just like, dude, I, I just I need like to throw MPH, something bro, on. So. Yeah, now nah, he's and he's like playing like a different role. Like he's not like Mister. Although I'm sure he's gonna get his spunk, but you know, look, uh, he's not like full fucking Barney <laughs> or anything. Low key, what I've been watching, just cause it's shorter and it's a little easier, is uh, Family Guy. I started like backwards, Damn. so I did season twenty and season nineteen, and it, it, you know, it's it's definitely changed from when I used to watch it back in the day, oh, and course. it would like pop up on TV. Now they have like these like, little cuts. Where um, it's like real humans, it's not cartoons. It's oh, kind of weird, but that is weird. it's it's different, dude. There, dude, there was a scene where um, Lois gets addicted to like uh, drugs and shit because she had something, a surgery. She had to start taking these pills to recover, and <laughs> dude, she was so off the meds. <laughs> this is crazy. Where like Stewie was taking a bath, right, mm-hmm. and um, she like dropped one of the pills, like her last pill, in the toilet. <laughs> Right, and she's like trying to get it, but she can't because her like her hand is too big. So uh, she like looks over at Stewie, and it's like Stewie, I need your help. She grabs Stewie, puts him in the <laughs> fucking toilet, <laughs> and is basically waterboarding her own fucking baby. And like at the time, you don't really, you can't really process. <laughs> You're like Stewie's like not with it. And they're like, yo, she's like drowning her own fucking baby. And this is like an animated shit. And then Brian comes in and he's like, Lois, what the fuck? And like, full Ozark. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just holding the baby under. Yeah, two minutes it later. was. <laughs> yeah, dude, the episode I watched, was it last night? No, probably the night before. It's, this one was a good one. It kind of reminded me of Rick and Morty, where it's, um, it's basically called Cutaway Land, where they get stuck in like cutaways, oh, okay. and that's like when um, <laughs> yeah, it was like, like that time we were at fucking Tom Brady's like last game, and then it boom, it yeah, yeah, there. no, they do that all the time in that show, so yeah, I get yeah, it. yeah, that actually sounds funny. Yeah, so it was just an episode out. where they couldn't get back to their real oh, like reality, God, and they're stuck amazing, in different cut- cutaways, and yeah, one of them's like. That. It was that it, Peter goes. It was that time we were stuck in like uh, the Tampa Bay locker room watching Tom Brady shower, <laughs> <laughs> and he gets transported, and he's like, "Wow, <laughs> look at look at that hog on him." <laughs> and Lois is like, "Let's go to a different cutaway." <laughs> so so funny. That show still has like its moments, and it's cool, you know. Yeah, man, but yeah. no moments quite like A B's moment. I yeah, think this AB gets be, pulled at Kanye. I think this should be the last the last topic for the night. We'll uh save the other ones. Yeah. Um AB's hilarious. But wow man, 
what a spectacle. Do your dance, baby. Bro, to Do wake your- up and see the fucking message that he posted on Twitter, brother. So funny. Dude, that whole that whole do your dance A B started popping off and I was like, oh, we're gonna bump this fucking A B mm, post up. Um, send it out. Shit, you better. Uh, uh, we're gonna have to read this one in its entirety here. Um Let me see. So uh, Sincerely A B. My biggest regret in my career doesn't involve calling my GM a cracker or showing up to Raiders camp late in hot air balloon with frozen feet or throwing rocks at that UPS driver. He basically says, or spooking a nut on that girl's back. And it definitely doesn't involve taking my shirt off and doing a victory lap around the Jets stadium mid game while throwing up deuces. My biggest regret is that I'll never get to see me, Antonio Brown, play a game live. Sure, I can watch a game afterwards, but I can't imagine what it was like for you all to see something like that. Like watching the Beatles or Jesus perform at Red Rocks. <laughs> Dude, that's the... I'm Red Rocks. That's so funny. That's the chef's kiss. Now he's a Jesus. performer, so he knows all about Red Rocks. <laughs> Red Rocks, yeah, well, that's so funny. Like, yeah. Dude, that level of hubris. That guy's he's... dick has his own dick. <laughs> and then his own dick has another dick too. No, he, it's he's, like, he's wild. He has bro. a fourth little dick. His nuts are <laughs> like he's wild. And the CTE on him. Oh my god, brother, that shit is just going crazy, dog. He's tripping sack. <laughs> and the CTE on him. If you made it this far, you're welcome. <laughs> I met AB. He was very nice. <laughs> I forgot about that. And he reposted your videos. So. Yeah. He, we, you know, we, we'd love to pot as him. We'll, don't worry. We'll make sure he never that's, sees what I just That's said. a fire. He, he'd be a fire guy. Yeah, he, think, he was cool as fuck, honestly. I'm fire. thinking that uh, Dream Smoke, Dream, or should I say, Dream uh, Drug Circle, Weekend, J Sum, Bad Bunny, and AB. Yeah, and you know what? We'll throw in Ezra Miller for a little wild yeah. card. Oh my god, that'd be crazy! <laughs> wait, 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 did I did I mention about how Bad Bunny uh, picked a, a check out of the crowd? Oh, I'm sure. No, no, you didn't. But, but uh, real quick, of course dude. You didn't. So um, he was he was about to do "In San Yame" by Lad, one of my favorite songs off that album. It's fucking incredible. Um, and he's like, "Oh, who? What woman here knows how to dance?" Right? And um. This chick's going crazy, and they put her up on the fucking, like, screens. And um, he's like, all right, you, come up on the stage, whatever. And then at some point, like, an old lady gets in front of the cam. He's like, whoa, 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 whoa. No, yeah, yeah. Like, he was like, not her. He was like, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Like, what an dude, ages. It was so fucking, everybody started dying of laughter. It was fucking hilarious. <laughs> and then the chick comes on, they do the little dance, and it was, it was fire. Yeah, That's super epic, fire. man. But anyway, his poor girlfriend. Uh, yo, shout out Gabriella. She she must be going through it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey man, you know. Like, but are you I'm really sure it's open. It if you're dating that far? Yeah, I'm sure it's open. You know, like she knows what it is. Like, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that's a fucking that's the pod. Wow. Episode 122. Thank you for listening. Thank you for fucking with us. Uh, follow the socials, Instagram, Twitter, uh, TikTok, of course. Man, TikTok, we're trying to grow that bitch. Uh, did we shout out the YouTube shorts? How yep. uh, we killed that, and thank you all for the follows. Uh, keep fucking with us. We'll catch y'all later. Uh, peace. Thank you. Ooh.